Hello, welcome back to Average Gamer Plays Factorio. Now, I've played for a couple of hours in the background. I've been putting down uh, just a few more solar panels. I've filled in that area with landfill there and I've finished that area. There were a couple of little gaps on here with the... Um, oh, I still haven't put the robo ports in because I didn't really need to but I did go and investigate this and there were a look, couple of little patches of water there that were preventing that from being built on properly so that's been fixed um, we now have 651,000 solar panels and I think we're doing alright with sort of seeing through the night at the moment what we're not doing alright with is red circuit production and Everything looks like it's working okay here at the moment, but as we can see, plastic is looking a little bit scarce. And the red circuit production is having a direct knock-on impact on the rocket launch pad, because I so say we're just getting a few coming through here now, but yes, this was very very low on red circuits so we weren't making any speed modules we weren't making any rocket control units uh, there's a few little dribs and drabs coming out from the previous set of red circuits and therefore we weren't loading up any uh, launching any um, any rockets so we need to fix the plastic production and as I've identified previously Um, yeah, I'm thinking that is actually looking quite low. Is that to do with a lack of oil coming in at the bottom here? No, that's all. Pr that one is pretty low on oil, and those go up there. That one is full. Yeah, this, this looks sort of pretty full now of oil. I don't think we've got an oil supply issue. I think the problem here is still uh, coal. So, let's head over. Um, and I've got an idea of what I need to do. It's basically, I'm just going to add some more coal lines. And I think what I might do... Oh, where's the uh, train station for this one? It's up there. Uh, what I'm going to do is build two more coal train stations and, if necessary, a few more um, coal uh, mines or loading stations on the, um, on the mine anyway. So, uh, I'm going to stock up with things like belts, underground splitters, rails, LTN stations, signals, um, miners, speed drills. Uh, what else might I need? I'm going to make sure that the coal patch is has, has got enough um, miners on it to feed quite a few trains, and uh, if necessary, I'll add a second uh, mine. And I've actually uh, on the on the map I've labelled this up to potentially put in another plastic factory, which I'd already had labelled up here for a plastic factory anyway. But then a second red circuit factory up here because I have a sneaky feeling that um, even when this advanced circuit factory has got enough plastic it still might not be making enough to feed the entire base once it's all running at full speed and I actually did a little test of um, if I do the blueprint for the plastic factory and I turn it round and I put it kind of um, there was a way of doing it. Yeah, putting it kind of that way up and over there, I can still mine those middle two coal patches. This one and this one. Not the, that's low, not showing 244 million because it's doing both of those. But mine this bottom one here and then that right-hand side one there. 
um, because the plastic factory there will just about sort of squeeze in around it because I can get the uh, I can move these train lines and whatever around. Um, and then I won't need to bring in any trains into this area at all. I can just sort of feed this straight off this coal mark. This uh, these coal. Well, I can I can bring trains in eventually, but I can start out by just mining this coal patch up here. And in fact, if I move that over to there, I can mine all of that coal, can't I? So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put this plastic factory in kind of down there, upside down from where the other one is. If I, yeah, because if I do that down there, it's too low down. So I'll put that in over like that away, and I'll move these uh, stacker at the bottom out of the way. And I should then be able to um, get uh, a lot more plastic being made with just mining that coal there. So that's the plan for that. So I need to have... Uh, I need rails. We'll have about a thousand of those. Uh, rail signals. Chain signals. We'll have a hundred of those. Let's make sure that I'm not going to get run over by anything. There we go. Right, let's take off... Let's deconstruct... that. Um, belt balancer 8 to 4 <laughs> looks like that so I think what I might do is actually I mean I can change now I won't change this line I'll copy all of that and put it down over that side So if I have that line, um, what's the easiest way of feeding this in? So each coal line feeds in at the bottom of the um, bottom of the factory. So we'll have all righty. Um, enough that goes that way that goes that way right and um, take that out I don't need that there for the minute that's one two three four oh 
Oof. Jesus. I should have checked that first. Whoa. Okay. So used to walking around in the Spider Tron. Not bothered about tidying up those uh, power poles up there. So we need to change this to request. Coal, 16,000, and I think it is minus 76,800 or something on a train. to go Okay. Took a little bit of time to reorganise all that, but these lines are now uh, more full of coal, and these lines coming out are more full of plastic. Basically. 
all these machines should not be running out of coal at all. At least I hope they won't be. These stations are both now requesting coal. That is short of 31,000. That is short of 23,000. So, right, the next step is to add more coal mines onto, um, and coal stations onto the mine now then. Um, I'm over here. The mine is down there. I might as well just walk there. Um... No, I'm getting the train. And I'll go to that line down there because that line doesn't actually go anywhere. And then I'll just have to manually back the train up when I want to come out and then hope that I don't actually crash into anything because I've done that before. And let's have a look. So we've got the train loading from both sides. We've got six um, smelts, six miners per line. And we, we only need four now. So I think I might take all of this up uh, because let's face it, even if there's no coal, um, right, let's take off the power to these. Oh, I forgot to pick up substations. I might need to go back for more substations. Yes, because these will empty out. That will still load up, so this will eventually sort of completely empty, and it might not take too long to actually do it. So I can now take up everything. Well, regardless of our sort of supply issues, we are still doing some research. Theory now, how many lines is this coming off this? Right. That one, I'm not bothered about. That's almost nothing. Um, that one is nothing. That one and that one is only two. So, actually, no, what we're doing. that one I'll meet up with this one over here right so that's half that's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten 
13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27 and a half. Um, wow, okay. <laughs> well, it's only got all its power. Right. Um, 27 into um, 8. I can have three stations, can't I? Three stations each loading one side of the train, basically. And let's take all this up. Right, so we'll have... Um, one, two, three, four. Come on. Why is that now missing? Right. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, something like this I wonder if, how easy it will be to squeeze all this in and then I'll have the other two stations on the other side um and they are going to be uh, right let's take up all of these trees because it's annoying That's going to be a full line. Have I actually put these too far apart? Yes, there's going to be a little strip in the middle there that's not going to get mined. Although, actually, what I can do is um, move those back a little bit. Right, so I have one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Right, so yes, I was going to have um, LTN stations load three, eight opposite. And we will have one station over there.
Do I not have any rails? Oh yes, I put the rails on the spider trot, didn't I? So yeah, I'm still going to have another 8 to 8. Um, do, do, do. let's uh, That has got 46,000 in it. That has got 115,000 in it. So that is full. Yes, that's where I got 115 from. It's like the uh, completely full. And that one has got 100. Uh, that's nearly full anyway yes okay so as long as we have enough trains we should now have enough coal and here comes one So basically, whenever we need coal, there will be a station to supply it. I 
I still might need to add on uh, a coal recycling uh, uh, recycling plant. Now then, let's see. That's okay. That's not in the way. Right, let's go to PAX Plastic 1 and let's see if we now have I mean, I've got no idea how much coal was in that patch, but there is 193 million. So let's label that up now as 193 million coal. Stick that on there. And... Uh, Spider-tron. See all these lines of plastic are now full. Or as full as they're going to get basically. Although that was getting very low. Okay. Minus 34,000. I'm not convinced that this is actually... Huh? 2,200. See, that is actually low... Right, it's because, okay, so it draws so heavily from one side of the belt Right, so let's go back. Um, let's build a third station here, basically. is actually getting short of yeah so not a lot of crude oil coming in along here so the question is now which line is this does it just need all oh right so it was that one i think that is going both ways to be honest Any undergrounds on me, but uh,
So we'll see if that makes a difference. And then we'll put this third station in here and see if that makes a difference. So can I copy? Let's try and squeeze that in over there. That was quick. Right, I now have one way or the other, and I might still tidy this up now that I've got it all in place. Um, now because it is annoying me. Right, one, two, three, four. Oh, come here. Right, 
Right, tidy that up. So this train, 8 to 4 balancer, feeds this top row. This train, 8 to 4 balancer, feeds this next four belts. And this train over here, 8 to 4 balancer, and it comes along and feeds this bottom set of um, factories. And why is that coming in and it's already full of right drop off drop off two drop off three Now then, these stations, so that is short of 22,000, that is short of 25,000, and that is short of 21,000, which aren't massive numbers. So the trains should now be able to... Um, keep track of everything basically let's just put that back in there so i'm not expecting any of these train lines to um any of these coal belts to deplete because we now have um enough trains available and enough mines hopefully and enough requesters you know to to keep everything fully stocked because it's now so each station is now serving effectively a third of what the one station was serving before so i say before i had one train serving 12 mines 12 factories and now i've got one station serving four factories well that's interesting that's coming in and going straight out again Why is it doing that? Why did that train go straight back out again?
Ah. Right. Now the consumption is is sixty one thousand. So I think I'm actually the consumption is three thousand a minute higher than that factory is producing, and that is quite steady. I don't think this factory can actually produce any more than that. We need plastic for red circuits, we need red circuits for production science. I mean that is, over the last minute, it's producing 61,000 but we're consuming 66,000 over the last minute. Did I design this? Did I calculate this? I mean, it is close. I mean, the consumption's going down because I'm sure some of the factories are actually starved of plastic circuits, so the plastic uh, bars. Now, the question remains. Now, let's have a think about... Do I want to actually... Do I want to try and squeeze a fourth row of factories into here, or should I just build a whole other new array? I think it will be a bit of a tight squeeze to get everything in if I were to just build a fourth row of plastic. Although, to be fair, I have got loads of space up there. There's plenty of space to put it in. And loads of space to sort out the... Um, uh, sort out the trains going out again. So I could just sort of add on to this, because I've got plenty more... <coughs> That's 18 point 20 point two. That one is actually quite low. That one is very low. So at the moment I had like I brought in all these other oil lines. Um, pipelines or whatever from the oil wells and I'm not actually using them so all these are completely full some of these seem a little low but That's interesting, it's sort of 4.5 coming in and then, you know, there doesn't seem to be an awful lot of oil on that stretch, but there's plenty more on there. And if we have a look after the pipe, that is 81.8. That's 43, 97, 72. 
so there's kind of plenty of oil coming in that one is still quite low nine and a half so i'll have to write the fourth one in i'll have to sort of follow that one through uh the fourth one in is the fourth one down from this one Because that one didn't have any power. That's okay, so I mean that should be pretty full of them now. Of course this mining productivity applies to the oil as well. Right, so that fourth line in now has got 63.8. That is fine. That is fine. So, I do have a lot more oil coming in here. As I said, there's a whole bunch of lines here that I'm not actually using for anything. So I've got plenty of space in the oxygen and capacity on the oil to actually squeeze in a fourth row And I think I will, um, I might take the opportunity to sort of redesign these train stackers and see if I can, see what I can do. I don't want to, again, if I have to dismantle the entire factory and rebuild it kind of more um, centrally located within the octagon, then yeah, that's what I'll do. Uh, but I, th as I think there's certainly plenty of space on here, even if I have to... Because I want to get some proper stackers coming in for the um, the stations picking up. Um, I might just redesign... I might just spread this out a little bit more and I'll have a, a stacker and then instead of having all these belts coming across down here I'll have um, these four and then a station above them and these four and a station above and these four and a station above and I'll have another set of four with a station above I might sort of do that in the sand pit redesign it and then I'll do a complete tear down and rebuild of that and then we'll hopefully have a better throughput of the plastic because there will be um, a third more plastic being made basically or 50% more uh, no 33% more plastic being made um, we might need well we need a fourth coal train coming in so it's effectively instead of being one plastic factory it's going to be four smaller factories each with one train coming in one train going out, um, yeah. One train feeding coal coming in, one train going out, and then four lines of uh, four pipelines of oil, one per, per factory. And um, yeah, I'll do them as four individual units and then stack them one above the other in the octagon. So yeah, we still just have two and a half thousand over the last hour and we have nearly five thousand a minute on the uh on the space. 
We're nearly done with mining prod 100. There we go, mining prod 114. Yeah, so maybe let's just have a look at the space science. It has been sort of up and down a lot, but it's more up than down at the moment. Um, make sure there's plenty of research going on there. So we now sort of have, if we have enough plastic coming in, right, what else needs, um, come on, PM, if I'm sitting two inches to the side of where my keyboard should be, I keep typing the wrong letters. Right, we need plastic for low density structures, plastic for red circuits. Um, yeah, so it's just low density, st uh, low density structures and red circuits that needs plastic. Low density structures might not need that much, so I think it is just right. How many before I go? What's the current rocket launch uh, count looking like? So we have to uh, get something out of my eye. And I've just seen an email saying Subnautica is now on sale, so ooh, tempting. Uh, right, 1198 plus 1006. 901. 831 775 1150 5861 so this base has launched nearly as many rockets as the old one has uh, and let's have a look Six thousand five hundred and seventy nine. Is twelve thousand four hundred and forty. <laughs> twelve thousand four hundred and forty one. Okay. Well, I can sit in there and watch all that till the cows come home. It's not going to make it run any better until I actually do something about it. So, plenty of things on the to-do list. Plenty of work to be done over the weekend. So, for now, I will say, see you next time.